This is Fox 25 Morning News. A lot more coming away on this Wednesday morning. It is wedding season, and some of you may be full of stress about giving you a toast at the wedding. We'll be joined by the author of a new book that makes the wedding toast easy and anxiety-free, and maybe we'll get a couple samples, too. Do you know, uh, yeah. we've got one of the best wedding toasts of all time. I had to use it several times. Uh, can you, would you like to share it with us? Yeah, I could. Uh, better, than you, better you than me. Good luck. <laughs> Doug Mean, a guy more likely to give the wedding toast than to actually be the groom, as we know. It's that time of year, the wedding season. Most of us will be going to at least one wedding, and some of you will be toasting the bride and groom. And what's the right thing to say? And what if you have stage fright, or if you're not sure if the jokes that you plan to use are going to go over too well? Well, here's the answer to all those questions and more. The ultimate toast master, Tom Heibeck, author of Wedding Toast Made Easy, the ultimate wedding speaker kit. He can help guide you through everything you need to know. Tom joins us live this morning here in our Dedham Studios. Thanks for coming in, first of all, Tom. Thanks for Why is it that people freak out, or some people freak out, when they get that wedding toast assignment? I think it's fear of public speaking. You know, public speaking is the greatest fear of the greatest number of people. It ranks ahead of death by fire. <laughs> people would rather burn up than stand up and make a toast. Doesn't make much sense to me. What, so what are the key ingredients of a good toast? If you were to give someone sort of just to, hey, quickly, here's what the bing, 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 this yep. is what you need to have. First of all, be prepared. I think it's a great honor to be asked to make a, a wedding toast, and as such, you need to spend some time to do a great job. Two, I think you need to personalize the toast. You know, instead of just downloading the pre-written canned toast from the internet, take some time and draw upon your own experience with the bride and groom and the people involved to put together a really personalized, special toast. Uh, I think time is really important. A uh, good toast shouldn't be more than about two or three minutes mm -hmm. tops. If you rehearse in advance, you'll know what two to three minutes is. Right. And a lot of times people, you know, they stand up and they, I'll just wing it. I'll stand up. So I'm, I'm guessing you're, you were wholeheartedly endorsing the rehearse Absolutely, absolutely. Practice, practice, practice. Practice, get a sense of what two to three minutes is, get a sense of uh, how your material is going to play. Know your audience. You know, a good barometer of uh, good taste. Imagine your grandmother sitting in the front row. <laughs> if it would offend her, probably not a, a good idea to use it. Also, you know, in terms of rehearsing, good idea to rehearse in the room where the mm. toast is going to be made. I guarantee you, if you get a chance to do uh, a test run in that room before the wedding reception, you'll do a much better job. So you should probably run this by a few people, have a couple of close friends of yours listening as you're going here so you can get that feedback as to, for example, the jokes to know if they're working at all. Yeah, it, I mean, you know, if you're going to use some material that you think might be somewhat questionable, sometimes it's a good idea to run it by the bride and groom to make sure, because they know the audience. Right. When you are uh, asked to do this, a lot of times it'll be the maid of honor to speak uh, for the bride or the, the uh, best man for the groom. Uh, should you tailor specifically to them, or do you want to make sure that you include both of them? Yeah, I, I think you should include both of them in both those presentations, both those speeches, for sure. Obviously, the maid of honor is going to speak more about the bride and the you know, mm -hmm. best man, the groom, but certainly put them together. Right. And mention the other family members as well. Try and include them. Try and include other people in the wedding party. Try and make sure that people are acknowledged and honored. What about the aspect of notes? People sometimes have these. Better to memorize, balance. What's the best approach to I think that? whatever you're comfortable with. I, I like to use point form notes, little recipe cards, put a few points on just to guide you to kind of lift it. Um, writing out a speech word for word can be a bad idea because you'll tend to read it word for word. <laughs> right. and, you know. So <laughs> I, I think notes could be a good idea. Some people can stand up and, and speak you know, off the cuff, so to speak. But again, I think preparation is a better idea. Yeah, you helped Regis Philbin with his uh, with the toast for his daughter's wedding, is that right? Yeah, it was actually the book. I mean, we, we heard Regis was getting married. Or, sorry, Regis. Regis' daughter was getting <laughs> married. And he was talking about it on the show. So yeah. we sent him a copy of the book. He got it. He read it. He liked it so much, he actually brought it on the show. And it was part of his shtick mm -hmm. with Kelly. And uh, he talked about it both before the wedding and after. So, so it helped him. There's it someone of, him. of note that helped him. Now, you have lines in this book, too, that people can You freely say, hey, use this material. Absolutely. Go out there and do it. What, uh, there's, there's one here in particular. Some of them are funny. One I jumped at, and i got to tell you, if I'm at a wedding and someone uses this, I, 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 it may get physical. In wedding, the word wedding, we, comes before I. Okay. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Dougie? Hey! <Aye. laughs> oh, that's a little high on the cornball scale there, Tom. Well, you know you what? Uh, you know what? Some of, the, <laughs> some of the stuff in there may be a little, you know, corny, It's like the old, there's not an I in team, but there is a me. Okay. So, you know, that's another way to... You know, I was trying to fill some space. <laughs> 
But you could go ahead and have fun. And, and like I said, there are some other lines in there which are fantastic Thank and you. great, um, which you could throw in. But again, that's knowing your audience because if you have a group that might appeal, that type of thing might appeal to them, you want to throw that in there. Right? And you might use it as kind of a cornball, right. goofy thing to start off with to get people kind of you know laughing, having fun. What, what is the one thing that you've seen in your experience that people always fall back on but simply does not work? Alcohol. Alcohol. So many people, you know, so many times people get nervous and they think, well, <clears throat> I'm going to have a drink to calm my nerves. And they have that drink and they're still nervous, so they have a second drink. And they're still <laughs> nervous, I'm going to have a third drink. And then they, you know, they're, it, it just, liquid it, it makes, courage yeah. is not a good idea. So lay off the alcohol. Lay off the until alcohol. Until after the speech. Yeah. Also, if, if you're not a funny person, right. don't feel you have to be funny in a, a wedding toast. Um, you know, as... Um, Owen Wilson in Wedding Crashers, famous line, say it from the heart, you can never go wrong. I, I, I think that's great advice for people. The Good. book is great advice, too, and it's a lot of fun to look through, even if you're not giving a wedding toast. If you're involved in a wedding, you've got other pointers there for parties and stuff like that, for uh, bachelor parties and stuff the groom needs to do, or not the groom, but the best man, et cetera. So uh, it's good for anybody who's involved in a wedding in any aspect. Thank you. So, so uh, over 100,000 copies now. You know, is that right? Over 100,000. Congratulations. For more you. pointers, you can visit weddingtoast.com. We get yes. that right? Very yeah. good. Tom, th thanks a lot for stopping by. I appreciate it. It's thanks fun for having me. I know folks will enjoy it. We've got to take a break. Continue here on the Fox 25 Morning News. Is this your name or a doctor's eye chart?